Let's get started. Create a new composition. Go to composition, click new. Rename it particles. For this composition, I'm using 300 by 300 pixels. Frame per second is 25 and duration of this composition is 10 seconds. Click OK. Now go to Timeline, right click and add a white solid layer. Click OK. Go to Toolbar and select Eclipse Tool. Add Eclipse Mask to this layer. Again create a new composition. Rename it Flames 1. Size for this composition is 1000 by 1000 pixels. Click OK. Go to project window and drag particles comp to the timeline. Hide its visibility. Right click on the timeline and add a black solid layer. Rename it to BG. Click OK. Again add a solid layer and rename it to Flames 1. Click OK. Go to Effects and Presets and go to Trap Code. Add a particular effect to this layer. Go to Emitter. Change its Emit Type to Sphere. Change its position to 707, 690 and 0. Change its velocity to minus 10. Change emitter size X, Y and Z to 20. Now go to particles. Change life per second to 1.8. Life random to 100%. Change sphere feather to 0. Size to 70. Change size over life. Go to physics section and to air. Change wind X and wind Y to minus 150. Now go to turbulence field. Change effect size to 10. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D. Rename it to flames 2. Go to emitter and change particles per second to 80. Change position to 548, 740 and 0. Velocity to 0. Change velocity random to 50%. Now change emitter X, Y and Z to 150. Increase random seed little bit. Go to particles. Change life per second to 6. And life random to 0%. Change particle type to sprite colorize. And go to texture and select layer from non to particles. Change time sampling to current time. Go to rotation and change random rotation to 3. Now change size from 70 to 30. Change size random to 100%. Change size over life. Go to Physics and to Air section. Change Spin Amplitude to 10. Change Wind X to minus 128. And Wind Y to minus 175. Now go to turbulence field and change effect size to 0, and effect position to 200. Go to particles again and change the color, from white to black.
duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Rename it to Flames 3. Go to Emitter and change position to 748, 565 and 0. Now go to Physics section and change Windex to minus 252. Go to Project Window and create a new composition using Flames 1 Comp. Now add a white solid layer to this composition and move it below the Flame 1 layer. Change its track mat to Luma Mat. Again create a new composition using Flames 2 Comp. Adjust the animation of this compass per your need, so that the flame starts at 0 seconds. Now go to Composition and create a new comp. Rename it to Final. Change the size of this comp to 1280 by 720 pixels. Click OK. Right click on the timeline and add a dark red solid layer to this composition. Go to project window and drag flames 3 comp to the timeline. Go to Effects and Presets and add a Tint Effect to this layer. Change the color of matte black to HSP value, that is 16, 100, 100. Use the same HSP value for matte white too. Go to the layer and press P to open position. Change its position to 690 and 462. Now press S to open scale. Change its scale to 130. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Now press P to open position. Change its position to 892 and 530. Now press S to open scale. Change its scale to 80. Now press R for rotation. And change rotation to 16 degrees. Again duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Again press P to open position. Change its position to 602 and 552. Again press S to open scale. Change its scale to 120. Now press R for rotation. And change rotation back to 0 degrees. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Go to Tint Effect and change its color to 27, 100 and 100. Now press P to open position. Change its position to 620 and 551. Press S to open scale. Change its scale to 90. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Change its position to 798 and 535. Now press R for rotation. And change rotation to 4 degrees. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Go to Tint Effect and change its color to 47, 58 and 100. Now press P to open position. Change its position to 809 and 561. Press S to open scale. Change its scale to 75. Now press R for rotation. And change rotation to 1 degrees. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Again go to Tint Effect and change its color to 41. 62 and 100. Now press P to open position. Change its position to 684 and 620. Press S to open scale. Change its scale to 60. Now press R for rotation. And change rotation to minus 1 degrees. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Go to Tint Effect and change its color to 41, 48 and 100. Now press P to open position. 
change its position to 810 and 687. Now add a solid layer to the timeline. Go to effects and presets and to trap code. Add a particular effect to this layer. Go to emitter. Change particles per second to 400. Change emit type to sphere. Change its position to 802, 627 and 0. Now change its velocity to 25. And change emit size Z to 2000. Go to Particles. Change Life Random to 100%. Change Sphere Feather to 0. Now change Size to 2. And Size Random to 100%. Also change Size Over Life using Preset. Now change Opacity Random to 100%. Change Set Color to Over Life and change the color, as per your need. Also change Blend Mode to Add. Go to Physics and to Air. Change Spin Amplitude to 20. Now change Wind X to minus 113 and Wind Y to minus 140. Go to Turbulence Field and change Effect Position to 250. Go to Rendering Section and turn on Motion Blur. Change its mode from normal to add. Now add an adjustment layer to this composition and add a glow effect to this layer. Change glow radius to 100% and glow intensity to 0.8. Add a black solid layer to this comp. Go to toolbar and select eclipse tool and add a mask to this layer. Change mask mode from add to subtract. Open mask property. Change Mask Feather to 300. Also change the mode of this layer from Normal to Color Burn. Lastly add Adjustment Layer to this comp and add a Curves Effect to this layer. Change the color channel as per your need. Now play the animation to check. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel.